I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn or understand the relation between complex numbers and two dimensional vectors. So the topic here is complex numbers as two dimensional vectors. Well you can always represent a complex number as a plus bi where a is the re real part and b is the imaginary part, right? Now you could also represent them on coordinate plane, right? So you can have it on the coordinate plane as an ordered pair also. You could also represent this number in another way, a comma b, like a coordinate. If, if we are representing it on a plane where one of the x's is real, the other one is imaginary, right? So here's a very special coordinate plane starting with zero. The horizontal axis represents the real numbers and the vertical represents the complex part of the real numbers. So we call that imaginary. Okay, so this is I, imaginary part. So that plane now represents set of complex numbers. And when we represent a number here, it could be treated as a vector, right? So some of you who are doing vectors, for them, this term will be familiar. So we'll say we'll represent them as a vector. Now here the origin is 0, 0. That 0, the origin here, 0 will be represented. A real part is 0. Imaginary is also 0. So that is our origin, right? This is the origin for the plane. And let me take some examples. Let's say u. And let me write uh, any number. Let's say 2 plus uh, 3i, okay? To represent this on, on the plane of complex numbers, it will be 2 towards the real side, 1, 2, and 3 on the imaginary side. So 1, 2, 3. Let's say this is our scale, right? So this, when I join this line, right, so that becomes u. So this becomes the vector u on the complex plane, right? So 2 plus 3i could be represented as shown here, right? So these are the units now. Okay, so this is 1, this is 1, okay. Now, so that is how you could represent. Let me take up another vector, which could be V, for example. And let's say vector V is uh, minus, uh, minus I, okay. Let's make it very simple. So in this case, the real part is 0, okay. Zero, real part is 0. So we'll say real part is 0 for us. And the imaginary part is unit 1. So that will be kind of like this. Do you see? So this vector from 0 to this represents V for us. So this is V for us. So that is how you could represent complex numbers as, uh, as vectors. Advantage here to do this is once we write complex numbers as vectors, we can do uh, operations of addition for example right so we can do some operations uh, like uh, like addition right we can do operations like addition or subtraction or multiplication all these up right or multiplication let me write okay uh, I should say when we are talking about vectors by a number scalar multiplication okay on the vectors right so using the vector concepts so what we're trying to do here is relating complex numbers with vectors and then utilizing what we have learned about vectors do you get an idea right so so that is how they could be related for example if i have to represent another complex number which is let us say let's say w which is 2 times 2 times u, 2 times u, right? So in that case, what I will do is multiply this by 2. So I get it extended. Do you see that? Twice 2. So same length, another time. So that vector concept is included here. And we have this complex number. So we have done multiplication and that is called scalar multiplication. Okay. And we could do addition also. We already have two vectors. So if I have to show a vector 
let me show a vector here which is like u plus v okay so in that case what can i do i can make a parallelogram with this that's how you do so it is one unit down making it uh, let me use light color ink to show this addition okay so we could make a parallelogram here so one unit down so that's the parallelogram do you see that so that's resultant here so so that gives you the vector do you see addition so this line well represents u plus v u plus v correct so that is how it is most of the time for vectors we put a bar here or we write these letters in bold letters so you could imagine if we write these complex numbers and use them as vectors you can fairly do it right and these operations which you've learned for vectors are applicable to complex numbers and the concepts which you learn in complex numbers will be equally applicable to vectors right so that's kind of a close relationship between these two we are going to explore these relationships in coming videos i'm anil kumar i like you to share and subscribe my videos and go through this list to understand the concept thank you and all the best.